Item number SCP-6712 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Professional Task Force Sigma-42 Nomads is to await and respond to SCP-6712 manifestation event and we contain it as soon as possible. Preserving the game's state through any means necessary up to and including lethal force. Sigma-42 is also tasked with amnesticizing witnesses and discrediting evidence of the manifestation offense. Stationary Task Force Epsilon-12, Settlers, is to play only one legal turn of SCP-6712 before returning it to Universe UA-908-6712 and preparing for another manifestation event. Under absolutely no circumstances is Epsilon-12 permitted to cheat. Description SCP-6712 is a copy of the multiplayer board game Catan that randomly manifests on Earth after being returned to Universe UA 90B6712. Upon manifestation, one turn of the game will have been completed by the opponent. The tiles of wooden pieces of the game have been hard glued to a sheet of cardboard while the cards and leftover pieces remain in the box. A sticky note reading, Site 89 Break Room, has been placed on the box. During a manifestation event, a small orb of blue-white plasma emitting arcs of electricity will appear at a point on Earth. The orb will remain for approximately 30 seconds, eliminating the surrounding area and scorching any nearby material before dissipating. In its place will be SCP-6712. As of the 14th of July 2021, the game is at too early of a state for a winner to be properly predicted. The score is currently predicted to be 5 victory points to 3 upon the leads. Addendum 6712-1 Creation While researching the efficacy of extra-universal travel at Site 89 in West Virginia, a faulty generator caused the beep apparatus to become overactive. In the process of shutting the apparatus down, the entire east wing of Site 89, including the break room, was lost. Located in the brick room was a copy of Catan used by personnel for entertainment. Approximately three days later, SCP-6712 spontaneously manifested in Moa, Utah, where it was recontained by Mobile Task Force Epsilon-6 Village Idiots. All witnesses were amnesticized. SCP-6712 initially manifested with one white road and one white settlement piece placed on the board due to the interest in researching extra-universal entities capable of extra-universal travel. A blue road and blue settlement piece were placed and returned to UA-90B-6712. SCP-6712 continuously re-manifested until its current game state. Addendum 6712-2 Notable Events on the 19th of April, 2021, a 7 was apparently rolled by the opponent, and the card was taken from Epsilon 12's hand upon manifestation to Tokyo, Japan. On the 12th of May, 2021, Epsilon 12 traded resources for a development card, obtaining a Year of Plenty card. On the 14th of May, 2021, the opponent obtained the Longest Road card, Upon manifestation in Perth, Australia. Opponent leads four victory points to two. On the 31st of May, 2021, SCP-6712 manifested in Semchun, China, with a handwritten note reading, Two wood for one brick. One brick resource card was placed with the note before being returned. SCP-6712 then manifested in Manila, Philippines with two wood resource cards in Epsilon 12's hand. This is the only time the opponent has communicated in relation to the game mechanics. On the 2nd of June, 2021, Epsilon 12 replaced one of the settlement pieces with a city piece. Opponent leads four victory points to three. 
On the 29th of June, 2021, a seven was apparently rolled by the opponent, and a card was taken from Epsilon 12's hand upon manifestation in Yardin, Colombia. The opponent also traded resources for a development card. Opponent possibly lead 5 victory points to 3. On the 1st of July, 2021, Epsilon 12 handled a note asking to trade one sheep resource card for one stone resource card before being returned. Upon scp 6712s manifestation in Amsterdam, Netherlands, the cards were traded from Epsilon 12's hand. On the 3rd of July, researcher Beep took a resource card from the opponent's hand, much to the dismay of his colleagues, in which he responded with offense. When SCP-6712 was returned, researcher Beep's girl spontaneously exploded, terminating him. SCP-6712 manifested a few hours later in Site-19 with only one road piece placed and a handwritten note reading. Please don't do that. The stolen card was immediately placed back in the opponent's hand, and Epsilon 12's turn was passed as a gesture of goodwill. SCP-6712 has yet to re-manifest.